Hi, it's Mark Schulz here, and I want to spend a little bit of time with you just to show you how we can set up multi-page previews for InDesign files within Experience Manager. So you can see I've got a file here. Um, if I open it up, you can see that the, the default thumbnail is produced. It's pretty good, and um, if you haven't seen InDesign working with um, Experience Manager in CQ5 before, um, it, you'll get different page thumbnails uh, created for you. Um, also, things like the text is extracted, you can see here, um, and then we can even help down into um, various sub-assets by um, first of all looking at the the document itself and then uh, going into the sub assets so you can see here um, there's lots of content in this document but unfortunately we're only getting a small um, page th thumbnail so I've created a package and it's available on the blog so you can actually hit uh, you can download this um, I'm going to browse and let's just uh, hit browse and wait for my laptop to catch up Come on, beach ball. There we go. Um, so open up this package and click on OK. And we've actually got this little um, file now. You can see how small it is. It's literally adding one file to um, Experience Manager, which is this multi-page preview.jsx file. Now, once we've got that, if you have a look in um, under ETC DAM InDesign, uh, these are a bunch of scripts that... Um, CQ uh, talks to InDesign server and actually sends it commands and what we've just done is add this new um, JSX file and if I just quickly go and have a look at what it's doing here it's just sending some commands to InDesign server to basically loop through the file and export a, um, a decent resolution image of each particular page so you can actually have a look at the code there the only thing left to do is actually make sure that this is activated. So I'm going to open up the DAM update asset workflow. Um, come in here and you'll see that we have, this is the out of the box workflow, I haven't made any changes yet. But under this media extraction, if I just double click on that, go to the arguments. I now need to add this additional script. So let's go and grab that, select multi-page preview and click on OK. And of course, don't forget to hit save. So now we should be able to get those previews. So let's hop back here. Let's first of all um, delete this file. So let's go and grab that and trash the original InDesign file. So that's now disappeared. Let's hop out of that mode. Let's go and grab our InDesign file. So it's sitting on my desktop. Let's go and drag and drop that in there. And we'll just switch over to um, InDesign server, which is running in the background and we can see that that's just kicked off. Um, in this case, it's missing a few files, but uh, links, that doesn't matter. Uh, we'll let that chug away. Uh, there it goes, and um, now you can see it's posting um, the various sub-assets, and then finally, it will create the page previews. So here are our page previews here. So that's finished. So if we hop back and refresh this now, um, go in and actually look at that um, item, look at the renditions. We can see on the left-hand side now we have um, beautiful renditions for page one, for page two, for page three, uh, etc. So very simple extension to Experience Manager, allowing you to see multi-page previews within InDesign documents.